Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to the Boogeyman. This is an RPG horror game made by Yuri. And if you don't know who Yuri is, he's the maker of The Crooked Man, which was a really, really good RPG horror game. And I remember I played it, um, not on the channel, a few years ago, and it was really, really good. I, I really like, really, really good. I think he also made The Sandman. I'm not sure, it said something about um, Sandman. Somewhere around the lines, like it said, like this is a part of a, a man series of Fury or something like that. I, I don't, really don't know. So, um, this game was also translated by VJ person or VG person to English. So, props for that. Uh, so, do you want to start? That is a silly question. You probably want to start. So, here we go. Three, two, oh, I tricked you. <laughs> Alright, let me get the mouse out of my face. Um, don't forget to leave a like in this video if you enjoy my videos because it really helps a lot. This game is horror. There are God damn it, stupid, uh, stupid cables. Um, there are scares and grotesque content, so please refrain from playing if you aren't able to handle it. Also, there are some elements of parody. Please adhere to the following rules to avoid trouble. Do not make paywall videos of the game or take money for it. Oh, uh, good, I'm not doing that. I, I only have ads in the video. When making videos of the game, do not cut the end credits. Oh no, but that's a long time, dude. You can't do like end credits of like 20 minutes. It's gonna wreck my entire video. Alright, sure. I, I agree to those terms, but that is a bit dickish move. Even though I know like the idea of um, one that uh, made it like... Alright, um, we actually have voice acting, that is pretty cool, I actually intended to read everything. But I get like the idea of like showing the entire credits, because he probably worked in the game really really hard, and he noticed a lot of people cut the credits out, but it, we only cut it out because it's time consuming. It's really really time consuming. Like, it makes an entire new videos only on the credits. No, Hello. No. I was just thinking. About what, sir? Yeah, about what? How's the suspect doing? Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. Man. Uh, I I'd rather like read read it to you, but it's gonna be annoying reading and talking over them. Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know, wondering what's even the point in calling you. <laughs> ah, sir, he's coming out. Oh no, uh -oh. shoot him. What? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in after. You think she's with him? This isn't good. We won't be able to arrest a guy like this. Let's go. I'll squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. Hold on a second, sir. She might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. <laughs> right. I don't know why it makes me laugh. I hope they shot the civilian because they did a great job. Okay, I'm just kidding. Probably the woman is the bad guy, to be honest. Oh, hello, DJ. How you doing, Dick? His name is Dick. Oh, sorry. Shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman, forever traumatized. <laughs> we tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. The visitor's entrance is that way. Seems that he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. Well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal. Nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Reporters, am I right? I <laughs> Reporters, oh, am I right? Chief, <laughs> you're a real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my count. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him. And stretch your wings a bit. Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. <laughs> I'm ordering you as your superior. 
If you don't want to travel, consider it a house arrest instead. Whoa, he's serious about that. The media. I can handle the rest real well. So, go on, take a break from the crime scene. Hey, but I didn't say you have to twiddle your thumbs at home for a month, right? Here's a little present. A dick. There's this old castle they're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Truth is, me and the wife were gonna go, but I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Now, put down the gun and the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? I'll probably need them. Go home for today. You can hand over your work tomorrow. Thanks, dick. Just one thing. Enough of the blurring music. You can hear in the hallway. <laughs> What's wrong with the blurring music, dude? Uh, you hate the black dudes? Huh? Is he racist? Okay, sorry. That that was probably inappropriate. But I don't really care right now. Welcome home. How was work? Same as usual. <laughs> you look tired. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh yes, I get a fantastic present for Mr. Anderson's wife. Look at these, honey. Two invitations. A three-day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Dick already told me. <laughs> I, I won't be able to, like, get... If you aren't too tired, I'd like to go myself. What do you think? I won't be able to, like, get used to it. If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. Thanks, honey. I can't wait. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Night. Oh, no dick tonight? Are you kidding me? I wasn't talking about his friend. <laughs> or his, I don't know, boss. All right, here we go. Now we are much faster all of a sudden, I believe. Um, aging... Uh, Antigina Bay? Sure. Let's talk with this woman because she's suspicious. Oh no! She have a hand! Shoot! Okay, no. Trying to make jokes doesn't work here, so... How do I speak with people? No! What are you doing? You need to interact with people. Ah, the bearings? I've been waiting for you. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be your guide for this tour. I wonder why they call him Stevie Small. Thanks. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Who would call his son Dick? <laughs> wow, what a ship. The five hour trip to the island should go by in no time. You're wrong. We are going to die. Waters. What about you? I'll head out later. You go ahead. Yeah, I need some alone time right. to jack off whatever had just happened. I mean, come on, my friend's name is Dick. Yeah. Right, um... Uh, bottles of brandy, sure. Uh, a traveling bag. Mm, maybe I should get the hell out of here because there is nothing to do here. A bathroom. Yeah, thanks for the observation, <laughs> the deck. Don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. Um, I only have one thing to say. Get wrecked! <laughs> well, I probably broke her nerves or something. Okay, sorry. Um, try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young Maybe lady. Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My friend's name is Dick. Nasty tongue on you, huh? You bet. I was born with it. Alright, um, I forgot to turn off my steam, so I'm sorry about that. Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? Sophie, this what are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? You said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. But, Papa... I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Thanks, Sophia. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Old man. Holy shit! What the fuck?! Come on, Papa, let's get some ice cream at the lounge. Shh. Yeah, you get the hell out of here. My apologies for that. No, I do not accept it. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh, yes. She's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. 
Excitement is one thing, but you should try to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision. If she talked to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right, but I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. Oh, I thought I'm he's coming to kiss me. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Sorry, if you don't have a natty name, I, I cannot have you as my friend. Like, my friend's name is Dick. <laughs> Did you come alone? No, with my wife. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. Get the hell out of here. Thank you. Well, I, why is he so surprised that I came with my wife? I mean, I don't look like a woman's guy. Come on, man. That is rude. All right, let's go and spy after them. All right, let's go and spank the bet. Mm, ice cream. <laughs> Papa, let me have a bite. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> But don't put on too many pounds, all right? I, I can exercise it off. I'm fine. That's what they always say. And then they end up like my mother. My mother is actually very, very... Nothing. Never mind. Let's just... Con oh, here's my wife and she looks pregnant? No, oh, no. Her, her like coat is just, you know... Keith, this is Shirley. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Same. She came here with her husband. Oh yes, where is he now? He's dead. The doctor we just seen killed him, and I'm assuming he's a doctor because he have a white he coat. He went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. Dick. Hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Hey, um, I, I like to pretend I'm a uh, oh, badass. Oh yes, you're with the men in black. Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses. Or neuralizer. <laughs> or a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? Sure. Um. <sighs> I don't know. It feels a bit awkward, the conversations. But you know what? I'll let it roll. I mean, come on. <gasps> oh my god, that is... Is that David from The Crooked Man? Holy shit, it is! Holy shit! That's the protagonist from The Crooked Man! Or I'm not sure if his name is David. Thanks. I like how the smoke is coming from behind him, even though he's looking to the left. <laughs> nice weather today, don't you agree? Sure is. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship, and it's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. Keith Barron, detective. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> David Hoover. Detective, huh? David Hoover, yeah. I always like to watch those police dramas. Yeah, David Hoover. That's the name of the protagonist. But why the suit? But in the previous game. Old habits. Never been on a ship except for the job. Did you come alone? No, I came with my wife. Hey, that's what I said. No. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. Came down with something? You shot him. Or hit him. I don't remember what happened. He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Oh, no. He's been kind of a moron. No, no, that, that's a different ending from the previous so game. I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. The bundlers? Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. Enjoy yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. I'm gonna spink that ass, and I'm going to take the trash can. Never mind, you know what? Because there is nothing here to do, so I'm just going to go back. I'm going to tell her. The tea here is delicious. You like tea? Absolutely. What about you? Sorry, I can't stand this stuff. Oh, girl's fight. Is she... Is she the girlfriend from the Crooked Man? Like, I remember David had a girlfriend. Is that her? Because... Well, I don't know. Alright, I see there is another entrance over here. Keith Baring. Who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get too close. From Lance Canal. So what brings you here? Murder on the ship? 
He's a murderer. Are you gonna cause one yourself, detective? Must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. That's all it is. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Sure, you're going to put a murder case on me and then you're going to take a picture of it. I don't know how it works, but it's your plan. Photographer. Don't you worry. I don't take pictures for any of those sleazy magazines. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Sure. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. Yeah. Good luck with that. I'll be watching, detective. Th that's the moment where I would have pulled my gun and shoot him. <laughs> that was the most awkward exiting. Like he he just left the conversation just like that. Like it was it was weird because he oh was. Oh my up. gosh! Look at the size of that. It's fantastic. Oh yeah, that's my friend Dick. It really is. I can't wait to take a look inside. Helen. Man, it's like the kind of place there'd be a murder case on an old cop show. Oh, stop being such an oddball. <laughs> yeah, stop being such a meatball. Even though she said an oddball, but still. I like meatball better. <laughs> well, who's going to die first? Get it. You're telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. You know what? I have a feeling that um, the guy with the camera is like... He may... The, the creator make him sound like fishy, so we think he's fishy and think he's the murderer because obviously something bad is going to happen here. And I think the little girl will be the murderer. I called it. Hello? It's Stevie from NA Travel. <laughs> Shut up, Stevie. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Sorry for all my Stevie fans. <laughs> or maybe David will be the murderer. And then he pulls out a gun and shoots everybody. Nigel, your tie's cooking. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Matt, your glasses, uh, well, they're still lame. <laughs> oh, there is a crew inside this, um... Time to the guests. So they might be the murderers. Hello. Oh, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leading them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, the Grumblers, Mr. David and Mrs. Shirley, and last but not least, the Bearings. So you came in Santa the Andersons. <laughs> what a delight. Young guy, you take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. Yeah, you must be tired from resting in the boat. It'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. I don't hey, trust this ship. Look, the view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember when we went to France and you? Yeah, and I did that thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she have a skull on her. What the fuck? Shouldn't you answer that? Oh no, it's not a skull. It's just her hoodie. Maybe she... I don't know what she's wearing. Maybe it's a bra. Maybe it's like the hoodie strings. I don't. Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. Jesus Christ, you're a dick. I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. And you're going to die. Obviously. Bye, had a great time. This time the smoke is coming out of my head. Not right now. Later. <laughs> Alright, mates. So that was the first episode or video or whatever you want to call it of the Boogeyman. I'm not sure what is going to go on, but from what it seems, there will be like a murder and then we'll have to figure out the murder because obviously we're playing as a detective and there is probably multiple endings and things like that. So yeah, thank you mate so much for watching the video. Leave a like if you had fun, leave a like if you'd like to see more of the Boogeyman and subscribe to join the resume if you are new to this channel. And I'll see you the next time. Bye! -bye.